Yeah, right, Paul, yes, um, Billy, just up on Ashton Court with the corner shed. Yeah, you're working well, you're getting over the top of someone that's just up the road from me, in no, in no So, uh, you're banging out, you must have a line of sight to me. Maybe, yeah, it's doing alright up here then, yeah, I'm only running it off a of telescopic with the Kuang Sheng, what's that, 5 watts at the most, up on, um, up on Ashton Court, so the height must be doing it or something. Oh, you've got the wide band telescopic on there with a, a little centre coil on it, yeah? Roger, diddly dee. Yeah, that, well, they're good for two metres as well, that it gives you more bandwidth. I had one of those, I lost it, I, I don't know why I did with it, I lost it. Um, yeah, good to where you want, mate. Yeah, nice one, yeah. Um, regards to Shed Madalini there, uh, yeah, just sort of come on and see how we're working, all good in the hood, and um, yeah, I'll let you get back to it. Cheers, me old mucker. Yeah, go through to him and get a rig check off him. Go, go through Shed Madalini, that's Billy, Billy the Kid, yeah? Yeah, Billy the Kid, you are in the 5 and 9, 30 plus, down on to the old uh, Noel 20, I'm just opposite the old cricket ground at the top there by Broadwalk. Beautiful, yeah, I know Noel very well, yeah, I used to live in Brislington actually, uh, for a long time, like 10-15 years I lived in Brislington, crossed over the water a few times, back and forth, but yeah, back over the other side now, back in North Bristol now, West Bristol, yeah, yeah, well, they'll be down there, I know quite a few people down there, good to know we're getting out, the good old Chinese special radio still working, only cost me a tenner, this, this uh, little thing, but things are working well there, cheers, sir. It's working wonderful, and I mean, uh, like I said, you are... Blowing me windows out if we was on 11 metres. You are actually uh, making a trip to me no trouble at all. I got uh, any tone, alright, and uh, you are lighting all the lights up. Nice one, yeah. Literally, I'm using a £10 radio off AliExpress and a three quid aerial, three pound telescopic off of eBay. So, yeah, I can't say further than that. Have you had a program so it opens up to transmit on HF? Yeah, roger that, Paul. Yeah, we've got the, uh, what's it called, the EZ Guma update. We're on 0 0.22 at the moment, so we've got the 18 through the 1300, sideband, FM, all that jazz. So, yeah, we've got all that. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, uh, my mucker, Derek, programmed mine. He's in the, in the knowledge. Uh, he's got the laptops and, and the knowledge. I, I ain't got a clue when it comes to computers. I know you and Steve believe are uh, into computers heavily, and you know all that shit, so I knew you'd have it all programmed. Fair play to you, kid. It was good to hear you. I had a chat with Steve Believe the other day. His radio was all over the place, and I got him on two metres, and then I told him to go on a PMR, and then I lost him. So uh, he, I don't know what happened there. He, he was he was hanging about for a bit. We did say hello. Um, yeah, we'll have to meet up one day, uh, have an eyeball or something, yeah, and say hello. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, I'll stop over one day. I know, I'm not obviously going to say, but I know where you are, because my in-laws, well, my ex's in-laws live over the road from you, so we'll come and knock on the old door there for a cup of tea. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm in most days in the day anyway, so just, you know, get me on the radio. Steve knows my number. You've got my number. I'm sure i got your number. I, I'm sure I have got it. I, uh, you can just text me or phone me and uh, just clear the way and just pop over and come and have a look at the set. Oh, I think you'll like it. Uh, I got upstairs version and downstairs version. And DX is all upstairs, all in a, sh in a cabinet and on the oak table. And I got uh, all the uh, luxury sort of relaxed radio downstairs. So I think you'd probably think, yeah, I'd love to do this, but the missus won't allow you to do it. But I, I don't have the missus living here, so I can do what I like. But I have the, it's a man cave. Uh, sorted, mate. That's the way they do it, isn't it? Yeah, Steve Alate is in the car, like, we're up in the car on Aston Court. He's in the car, like, he ain't got the radio, but I brought mine up there. So, yeah, we'll pop in. Pop in one day and knock on the old door there. Yeah, you're welcome, mate. No problem at all. No problem at all. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, come by and have a little look and uh, see what's what. Uh, I might have some little gadgets here that I might want to just let go and uh, release into the wilderness and you might be interested. So uh, you never know your luck. Um, I always do clutter. I, I, I collect things like, like madness. I mean, radios and SWR meters, tuners, you name it. I've got it here. Somebody was like a CV shop. Alright buddy, we'll catch you later. Yeah, cheers mate, yeah, we'll pop in a say one day. Yeah, I know what you mean about a collection. It's a disease, isn't it? I've got exactly the same disease, mate. It can't be helped. No, it's incurable. But yeah, I'll let you guys get back to it. Cheers, Ter. Catch you later, guys. Three, take care.
Terry's also got it. He's even got it worse than I have. His equipment is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolutely stacked quite high with it. All right, mate. Good to hear. Yeah, Terry, it's nice to have it all busy on you. 